I'm Grony Walsh and I'm the coordinator of the Science Learning Centre in the University of Limerick. And just to tell you briefly about what we do, we support undergraduate students with science related uh, issues in physics, chemistry, biology, some mechanical engineering and sports science modules um, through a drop-in centre where they can come in and talk to a tutor in one of the disciplines or if, through support tutorials that they themselves currently or historically would request, so a request student-led service and also some support for students uh, repeating exams. So our little data set here is 3,263 3, interactions last year. And up until last year, really what we would have done is just looked at how many people turned up, what modules do they turn up for, feed that back to the lecturers and the faculties, uh, the, the programs and so on. But we weren't really looking at it in the context of the wider student experience across the university. Where were they coming from? How were they even doing on those modules? What was the effect of participation in our support service? And how we could really work with the lecturers other than sort of just the casual emails, oh, we've so many students coming in, or we're running a support tutorial for your module, is that okay, yes, it's fine, this is what they learned about. So something a little bit more data-driven is what we were, were trying to do. We started to develop that last year, and we're implementing a pilot project uh, this year for a number of different individual modules. So it's really, for us, it's down to individual modules and, and you know, as named students, students that we find that through working with the lecturers um, who have data from their VLE, SOLAS it's what it's called in UL, um, through uh, collaborating with the other learning centres like the Mathematics Learning Centre, we there is sort of cross, um, uh, some, certain students would go to both, um, looking at what they're doing in the ICT Learning Centre, Sarah mentioned what they're doing there uh, already and with student uh, records so that really presents a lot of issues for me because I've never tried to really look at that stuff systematically before um, so that is both an opportunity but also everybody's talked about this integration how do we get to this data are we allowed to take it what we can do with it um, are the lecturers so this we're coming on to challenges uh, are the lecturers happy with us using this? There's their modules, their module grade data. So it really comes down in a lot of ways to managing data and relationships, both with students and with uh, the other uh, faculty and other staff in the university across a variety of divisions. And when we, it comes down to identifying, we found it relatively easy to identify students at risk with the help of, of lecturers and VLE data, attendance and so on, midterm exams, even from week four of the first year, the autumn semester. But then what do we do with that? How do we reach those students? Sending emails is, you know, has not been terribly effective, we found. So what steps would we like to take? So we need to, what we're trying to do is both interrogate our current practice. So what are those students who are coming in now into the Science Learning Centre? What are they coming in for? How is participation actually enhancing, or is it enhancing their learning? Um, how we can translate whatever is successful into a system-wide approach, and how a system-wide approach which would be a, a level above us, that we so we didn't have to think about questions like uh, data governance. Someone else had already solved that problem for us, so we could just say, oh, this is what we need to do if we want to access this data. Um, empowering the students as confident and independent learners in science is our ultimate goal. So how can we use the data to do that? And we would like, if we could, to find out something about, well, this is why I'm here today, about cross-institutional approaches. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.